good morning to all let us complete the lesson reaching the age of adolescence by covering the remaining topics of the chapter that is determination of sex of the body chromosomes hormones other than sex hormones role of hormones in insects and frogs reproductive health how is the sex of the baby determined boy or a girl this question must have been ar arise in your mind so let us discuss now chromosome inside the fertilized egg or zygote is the instruction for determining the sex of the body this instruction is present the thread like structure called chromosomes these chromosomes are present inside the nucleus of every cell all humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nuclei of the cell sex chromosomes two chromosomes out of 23 pair of chromosomes are the sex chromosomes these are named as x and y in female they have two x chromosomes while in male they have one x and one y chromosomes no chromosomes in egg and sperm the gametes egg and sperm a gametes means the egg and sperm they have only one set of chromosomes for egg the unfertilized egg always have one x chromosome and sperm these are there are the two types one kind has an x chromosome and the other kind has a y chromosome so once again that is egg egg always have one x chromosome while the sperm have two types one x and one y so how the boy is developed if the sperm contributes a y chromosome to to the egg at fertilization the zygote would develop into a male child as shown in next slide and while when a sperm containing x chromosome fertilizes the egg the zygote would have the two x chromosome and develops into the female as shown in the next slide let us see that is now these are the egg x and x so these are the x which contains only one type of x chromosome now if sperm containing y chromosome combines then xy forms that is the male is formed when x sperm containing x chromosome combines with the x then the xx that is the girl is formed hormones other than the sex hormone the hormones secreted by the pituitary stimulate testes and ovaries to produce their hormones the pituitary is attached to the brain a part of from the brain, uh, pituitary there are other endocrine gland glands in the body such as thyroid pancreas and adrenal so pituitary gland it stimulates testes and ovaries to produce the sex hormones apart from the pituitary there are other endocrine glands in the body such as thyroid pancreas and adrenals now goiter the disease of the thyroid gland in this disease the thyroid gland is not producing the hormone thyroxine properly so the goiter is goiter you can see from the throat in this diagram that goiter uh, disease has been developed and in case of the diabetes when pancreas is not producing the hormone insulin in sufficient quantity it is known as the diabetes or in general the people usually say that they are suffering from the sugar now adrenal gland the adrenal gland secretes hormones which maintain the correct salt balance in the blood adrenal also produce the hormone adrenaline it helps the body to adjust the stress when one is very angry embarrassed or worried the growth hormone thyroid and adrenal secretes their hormones when they receive orders from pituitary through its hormone pituitary also secretes growth hormone which is necessary for the normal growth of a person metamorphosis the caterpillar has to pass through various stages to become an adult 
moth this we have studied in the previous lecture uh, in the previous chapter the adult frog lays egg the egg grows into the tadpole which divides into early um, uh, early and late tadpoles the late tadpoles then grows into the adult means the frog from the egg to become a adult frog it passes through the many stages of the life the larva into an adult through drastic changes is called the metamorphosis now role of hormones in completing the life history of insects and the frog now metamorphosis in insect is controlled by the insect hormones in frog it is controlled by the thyroxine the hormone produced by the thyroid thyroxine production requires the presence of iodine in water if the water in which the tadpoles are growing does not contain sufficient iodine the tadpoles can't become adults so it is quite surprising it may be quite surprising for you that just like us these animals also have the glands we are having the thyroid uh, uh, having the uh, gland which is which, uh, which is producing the thyroxine the same is in the case of the frog also which is responsible for their completion of the completing the life history so if they do sufficient amount of thyroxine is no iodine is not in the water then tadpole can't become adult no productive reproductive health the physical and the mental well being of an individual is regarded as individual's health to keep the body healthy every human being needs to have a balanced diet the person must also observe personal hygiene and undertake adequate physical health physical exercise essential for the growth of the body so we can say that the balanced diet as well as the exercise both are essential for the growth of the body now nutritional needs of the adolescents adolescence is a stage of rapid growth and development so the diet for an adolescent has to be carefully planned the diet must be the balanced diet so that is the reason that your mothers your parents your teachers everyone suggests you guides you to eat the healthy food the balanced diet so the growth or the changes in your body is the mental growth intellectual growth the growth of hormones everything is in a very good manner so the diet must be the diet must be the balanced iron built blood and iron rich food such as leafy vegetable jaggery meat etc are good for adolescents adolescent now balanced diet the meal which includes protein carbohydrates fats vitamins in requisite proportion is known as the balanced diet roti dal pulses milk vegetables are a balanced diet fruit is also provide fruit also provide nourishment for infants mother's milk provide all the nourishments that they need so at your age you must eat ro- dal roti vegetables fruits milk etc so now you have to remember the following points that chips and packet or tin snacks though very tasty should never replace your regular meal as they do not have adequate nutrition values sometimes you can have the chips or the tin snacks for the change of your taste but you should keep also in mind that when you are eating the chips and the packed or the tin snacks you are not eating the balanced diet you are not eating the proper food for your growth which is necessary for your growth so you have to always eat the balanced diet and also be careful about the personal hygiene everyone should have a bath at least once every day it is more necessary for the teenagers because the increased activity of the sweat glands sometimes make the body body smelly 
all parts of the body should be washed and cleaned every day if cleanliness is not maintained there are the chance chances of catching bacterial bacterial infections now during the days of the covid it is also mandatory that you have to take care of the personal hygiene special care for the girls girls should take special care of cleanliness during the time of the menstrual flow they should keep track of their menstrual cycle and be prepared for the onset of the menstruation physical exercise walking playing in fresh air keeps the body fit and healthy for that is why the fit india movement is going on in our school also all the students they are asked to do walking and running daily and to keep the record of it all young boys and the girls should take walk exercise and play outdoor games say no to drugs adolescence is a period of much activity in the body and the mind which is normal part of growing up so do not feel confused or insecure if anybody suggests that you will get relief if you take some drugs just say no unless prescribed by the doctors drugs are addictive if you take them once you feel like taking them again and again and they harm the body so they ruin health and happiness so never go for the drugs drugs includes the tobacco also so you should keep yourself away from the smoking from the drugs everything which is harmful for your body now hiv human or immuno deficiency virus hiv the full form is human immuno deficiency virus aids is caused by the dangerous virus hiv this virus can pass on to the normal person from an infected person by sharing the syringe used for injecting drugs it can also be transmitted to an infant from the injected mother through her milk the virus can also be transmitted through the sexual contact with a person infected with the hiv so one should be or you should be very careful to keep yourself away from the or away from being infected by aids so that is all thank you and have a nice day